Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. Uh, today's going to be something a little bit more special to me in particular. Um, I am a big time hunter, so I want to do a couple of videos that explain my hunting setups, my camo setups, my hunting blind setups, my tree stands. I also want to go into what bow I'm using, what guns I'm using for hunting up here in Michigan. Um, so today's episode is going to be on hunting camo. Now in order to do this, I'm going to have to shift the camera farther away so you guys can get a little bit better of a picture of what these items look like because being too close to you, it's really hard to see these bigger items. So um, I'll catch you guys on the other side. Bow season here in Michigan happens on October 1st. I don't know what state you guys are in when your hunting seasons actually start. But our first day of bow season is coming up here in a couple of weeks, and I am super excited about it. I'm going to be setting up my stuff, my tree stands in a new spot and a new place up in Harrison, Michigan, here relatively soon. Um, but I'm going to go over what I'm wearing today, what I'm wearing during early bow season and late bow season, and what I'm wearing during gun season this year. I've tried to narrow it down to one particular company, and the company that I have chosen is Sitka. Now, Sitka is a really expensive brand, and it's not for everybody. It's really hard to afford a lot of this stuff. Um, I afforded all this stuff before I had kids, before I moved into a house. My wife and I weren't even married yet, but we were living in a condo. Um, so it was a lot easier for me to afford these items. I didn't buy them all at once. I kind of bought the big items every year, so one hunting season. I'd buy the bibs one hunting season, I'd buy the coat, and so on and so forth. The one thing you're going to notice that a lot of these items are relatively expensive, but I bought them as an investment. I did a lot of research on this company, Sitka, and I did it as an investment because I believe in this system. I believe this system works. This system keeps me incredibly warm during the colder months of hunting, and that is one thing I was missing. Uh, it seemed like my first couple years of hunting, like full time, I was getting cold. My feet were getting cold. My hands were getting cold. My face was getting cold. And I just was miserable out there in the woods. Now with this system, I have never been cold, um, even up in my tree stand. I hunt my tree stand about 98% of the time. The only time I don't hunt my tree stand is when it is raining. Um, I go down to the ground blind when it is raining. Okay, but I'm going to start with early season, early bow season first. Um, I'm going to use the small items first to kind of ease you into the prices that I'm going to be going into. Okay, um, first thing is first is uh, we're going to start with the head. Um, I have two hats that I wear. I'm um, going to start with a neck gaiter. I start, I always wear a neck gaiter, and this is from Sitka. Looks like this. So this is about 49 bucks right here. It is incredibly warm. It is made of fleece. So when you put this thing on, it is incredibly all warm. It just fits right over your head and goes over your neck. Hopefully I'm not covering up my mic here. Okay, just looks just like that. Very, very warm. The two hats that I wear is based on how cold it is outside. Um, if it is really cold outside, I am using the called the stratus fleece beanie is what it's called um, goes right over top of your head just like that and this thing keeps your neck with paired with that neck gaiter keeps your head incredibly warm during the cold months i love this one okay but if it is early season bow and it's kind of warm outside still i am not going to use that i am either going to use a ball cap hat that is camo or i am going to use this trapper hat this trapper hat that has the fleece ears on it. So if it's really windy outside, you can still keep your ears nice and warm as you're hunting. And it has a little visor there for the sun. If it's really sunny outside, I do really like this hat. This is one of my favorite hats that I wear. If it is warm enough, out, or if it's not too cold outside, um, I will be wearing this most of the time. Um, my third item is my gloves. Now, it's a very thin glove, so if it's really cold outside, most of the time my hands are inside my pockets with my hand warmers. But I like this glove because it lets your trigger finger 
be free. Um, I don't like shooting my gun through a glove. I would rather have my finger out there pulling the trigger. Um, same thing with my bow, because I have a thumb release on my bow. I like to have my thumb exposed so I can feel the trigger with my bare hand. Um, I absolutely love these gloves. These gloves are great. Um, they're just not great in the cold weather if your hands are sitting outside your jacket. Okay, they, your hands can get cold. Um, they're not incredibly warm, um, but they do the job because my hands are in my pockets most of the time, and then I pull them out to um, grab my bow or draw my gun. Okay, those are my gloves. Going with the clothing, um, one of my favorite items that I have here, I'd say my second favorite item, is called the Fanatic Hoodie. It looks like this. Um, this is great when it's not too cold outside during the early months of bow season. And what I really like about it is you put the hood over your head and it even has a little face guard here um, to hide your face a little bit in the, in the winter. Um, I do really like that option. If you don't want to use that, you don't have to use that. You can just use it as a regular hood. It is pretty neat. I will demonstrate for you. So when you put this on, you got to make sure that you put the hood over first or the face protector over first, and then the hoodie goes on top, just like that. So it looks like, looks like that when you have it on. I absolutely love this thing. Um, I wear it, um, I wear it for both bow season, and I actually wear this under my warmer stuff during the winter time because this does keep you, gives you a little extra warmth in there it is warm it's not thin material there's actually some fleece um, that's the key word in all my stuff is fleece there is some fleece under there so it does keep you warm from the wind and whatnot you probably can't even hear me because i'm just covering up my mic so this is what i'm wearing on top when i'm wearing as pants now keep in mind these prices these are biden prices these are not trump prices i got all of this stuff with trump prices so they are where they were a lot lower with uh, the former president, I will say that much. Um, the pants, these are called, uh, what are these, Stratus? Yes, these are, these are called Stratus pants. Um, they're very, they have fleece on the inside. They're not too thick, um, so they're perfect for early bow season. Um, this paired with my hoodie, they match really well together, so you are camouflaged really well. Um, this pattern, it's called their Optifade Elevated 2 camo pattern, and it's meant to um, fool whitetail deer. They're supposed to not be able to see you when you have this on. Um, whether or not you believe that is completely up to you. All right, now we're going to get into the colder months, and this is kind of where, this is where this system really shines. Um, the first one I'm going to go over is the bibs. Okay, these are called Fanatic bibs okay these fanatic bibs these fanatic bibs are going for 359 dollars okay so they're really expensive but they work these things keep me so warm and now i had a choice between going with the bibs and going with the pants what i've noticed when i am hunting with pants is whenever i'm leaning forward or i'm standing up or i'm doing something Usually the coat and the pants go above each other and you're letting in all that cold air into your body. And it was kind of annoying always pulling down my coat to try to close that gap to where all the wind's getting in. Um, that doesn't happen with the bibs. The bibs covers that area. It covers a good chunk of that area to where you're not getting cold. You're not getting that cold breeze into your body. Your key staying nice and warm the entire time. Um, I absolutely love these, so that how these work. They have little loops here on the end, and on this side is little tiny hooks, and you just hook them in there. They have different size hooks here. So if you are a shorter person, so they have shorter hooks here if you're a shorter person, so short people don't freak out. You can fit into this. Taller people, I put this all the way at the end. I'm about six foot three and i put this thing as you can tell i don't use these small hooks very often um, i use the very end and it fits perfectly for me and i am the six foot three and this fits just fine so taller guys you can use 
this system as well. It has tons and tons of pockets for you to put your stuff, um, deer calls, range finders, whatnot, um, down here. Aero release, I'll put my aero release down here as well in these pockets here. Great item here. But the most important item out of all of them is, and unique, I would say, is the Stratus, or sorry, is the Fanatic coat, the Fanatic jacket. And what makes this thing so cool is they have, it has what's called a kangaroo pouch. So I'll put it on and I'll try to demonstrate for you. It's like that. This is incredibly warm. Okay. So what this does is it zips on the side. I'm going to see. Okay. It zips on the side here. And what it does is it zips across your chest like this. Okay. I'm going to actually take my mic out so you can hear me. Can you guys hear me? Okay. Um, it, it comes across your chest like this. What that does is it opens up this middle pouch. This is the kangaroo pouch. This is the most important part of this entire thing. Okay, this kangaroo pouch is incredibly warm. On the inside, it is full of heavy, heavy fleece. And what I do is I stick two or three hand warmers inside of this little pouch. And this entire pouch is like blistering hot. Um, you can stick your phone or what you're not in this front pouch. This is a completely separate pouch here. Um, I've also stuck hand warmers in this pouch and just zipped it up and that makes the back pouch warm as well. Um, there's also a little tiny sleeve inside of here. You can stick hand warmers inside of that sleeve as well and that keeps everything really, really warm. Um, this pouch right here is usually um, for my phone. I keep my phone in this one um, every so often because usually like when I'm on Sunday and you know, it's NFL Sunday, I'm watching my teams, I'm watching my fantasy team. I usually stick it there so I can kind of watch my fantasy team as I'm hunting. Um, there is a pocket up here. Now this pocket right here, I hope you can see me. This pocket right here is for my range finder. So I'll have my range finder in this pocket. I'll just slip my hand in there, take it out, use my range finder. That is a great pouch for that up here. But that is another cool design because the zipper is angled like that. You do have this pouch as well and this kangaroo pouch right here. Very cool design. Most of this is made of fleece, so it is incredibly warm when you are hunting. And this entire setup keeps you super, super warm. And I am incredibly impressed by this system. Um, especially this kangaroo pouch with the hand warmers in there. That right there is a game changer. Um, so after I figured this whole thing out, this system out, the only thing I had to worry about were my feet. So I put hand warmers inside or feet warmers inside of my boots as well. And I don't even think I went over my boots. Um, my boots are last and these are Irish setters. Um, my one gripe about the Irish setters is, at least this version, it's really hard to get your foot in and out of it because you literally got to put your foot in and slip it in there, especially with heavy socks on. It's very hard. You got to grab the back of this and like yank it up. Um, if I was to do this all over again with my boots, I would get the ones that zip. So you can unzip it, put your foot in, zip it back up. Um, but these boots are fantastic. I've had them for five, six, seven seasons now. Um, and they've like barely even noticed they're worn in. Like these things are meant to last. And so I don't think I'm going to switch out of these yet because this was a gift from my mom. And I really appreciate her buying this for me. Um, they don't have this exact model anymore, but I think I was researching the models. And it was roughly, uh, let's see here like $179 um, back when Trump was president. I bet you it was like 120, 130 bucks. Um, but these things are fantastic. I absolutely love these boots and they actually match semi-decent with this Optifade pattern that is on the camo. I will show you guys some B-roll of what a, I look like completely dressed in this, um, in this camo. It, the biggest benefit of this camo is, is it, it's incredibly warm. So if you live in a really cold state, this system will work. 
It's incredibly expensive to get into, and I highly suggest getting into it slowly. So buy like one of the expensive pieces at a time, and then wait a whole nother season and then buy another one. Okay, don't buy this entire setup all at the same time. It's gonna cost you over a thousand dollars, and it's not worth it at that point unless you can afford that. Most of us out there are not in that boat, and do what I do, and do what I did, and just buy it one piece at a time. Um, ask for it for Christmas. Um, my mother-in-law has got, gotten me a lot of these pieces. My mom has gotten me a lot of these smaller pieces. Um, I had to cough up the money for the two big items, but I'm telling you, I think the two big items comes around $800, $900, but they are incredibly worth it. If you're looking to get serious into hunting and you want to stay incredibly warm, this system is worth it. Sitka is the name and I, I promise you, you will love it if you get into this type of camo. But I want to thank you guys all for watching. Uh, go out there, train hard, get strong, be a protector. If no one said they love you today, I love you guys. God bless you all.